those who make the worst use of their time are the first to complain of its brevity. Two persons cannot long be friends if they cannot forgive each other's little failings. The pleasure of criticizing takes away from us the pleasure of being moved by some very fine things. There are only three events in a man's life, birth, life and death, he is not conscious of being born, he dies in pain and he forgets to live. We keep a special place in our hearts for people who refuse to be impressed by us. Most men make use of the first part of their life to render the last part miserable. When a book raises your spirit, and inspires you with noble and manly thoughts, seek for no other test of its excellence. It is good, and made by a good workman. Those who make the worst use of their time are the first to complain of its shortness. If some persons died and others did not die death would indeed be a terrible affliction. The same principle leads us to neglect a man of merit that induces us to admire a fool. The very essence of politeness is to take care that by our words and actions we make other people pleased with us as well as with themselves. A wise man is cured of ambition by ambition itself, his aim is so exalted that riches, office, fortune, and favor cannot satisfy him. We can recognize the dawn and the decline of love by the uneasiness we feel when alone together. One seeks to make the loved one entirely happy, or, if that cannot be, entirely wretched. The pleasure of criticism takes away from us the pleasure of being deeply moved by very fine things. The true spirit of conversation consists more in bringing out the cleverness of others than in showing a great deal of it yourself. He who goes away pleased with himself and his own wit is also greatly pleased with you. Most men would rather please than admire you, they seek less to be instructed, and even to be amused, than to be praised and applauded. That man is good who does good to others, if he suffers on account of the good he does, he is very good, if he suffers at the hands of those to whom he has done good, then his goodness is so great that it could be enhanced only by greater sufferings, and if he should die at their hands, his virtue can go no further, it is heroic, it is perfect. If it is true that one is poor on account of all the things one wants, the ambitious and the avaricious languish in extreme poverty, 